Hey guys, it's Glancy, and today I'm going to be showing you how I do my makeup every morning as a TV news reporter. You're probably wondering how I'm filming this right now because if you guys know, I'm actually the morning reporter, so I do my makeup in the wee hours of the morning. It's suddenly kind of hot in here. I need to put on my air. Jeez. It's getting hot in here. 81 degrees in my apartment. Okay, that's why I was a little hot. But I'm actually filling in for the weekend right now. Uh, that's why I'm going to be going in at 2.30. That's night side. 2.30 to 11.30. That's the shift. Um, a huge disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist and I, I really don't know what I'm doing. I just wake up every morning, throw some things in my face, through trial and error, see what looks good. Oh guys, oh guys. We can talk about all that and more. This is going to be a chatty one where I really tell you guys every product I take, why I use it. Um, obviously, this is meant for camera on air because things get a little weird, I've realized. Like... I don't know, some things just don't work in real life that do work on camera and vice versa. So let's just get into it. First thing I take is my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It's a little tiny one because uh, I lost my big one, but thankfully I had this little guy. Um, I use kind of a generous amount. A lot of people do not use foundation primer. I do not know how or why. It coats your skin with just the layer between you and that disgusting foundation that I will be applying shortly. I, I really just don't get how people don't use or skip this step. Like I, since since I was in high school, have just used this step every single, every single freaking time. I focus it where my pores are kind of big. I, don't, I, I think I just like made that up. What does that even mean? I don't know. My skin, I just, my skin right here is kind of rough. And this helps it stay on all day because right now, for, exa for example, it is 1 p.m. I'll be on air at 11 p.m. Okay, it needs to stay there, and I don't really reapply, so yeah. Next, ah, this stuff is my holy grail. Holy grail, it's the kind of weird holy grail. It is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil-Free Foundation. Ugh, this stuff I've been using for so long. It's just, it just gets me, and I'm in the shade Sand Beige. It's like, actually, let me shake this stuff. Shake it! Just, it's brilliant. It goes on so... I just love it. It's like natural, but it gives you coverage. I try to be cognizant to apply more than I normally would for on air just because when you see yourself on camera, you're like, oh, that's why people wear a lot of makeup on camera. It's just, ugh. The biggest thing though isn't even the coverage, honestly, it's the shine. The shine, that happens from the camera, oh my gosh. This is a lot more than I would use if I was going, just chilling anywhere. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. This fly. Really, trial and error is key. I'll never forget the first time I didn't really wear much powder. I, I just threw on what you'll see is um, translucent powder just a little bit that morning because that's how I normally do it in real life. I saw myself on camera um, with all the lights and stuff because it was early morning reporting, 5 a.m. So it was dark outside, so we had the huge camera lights on me. I was just, it just looked like someone just took grease and oil and just rubbed it all over my face. I was so shiny. And I was just like, never again, never, never again. We are going to go for the goal with powder. Eyeshadow has been trial and error. I've had a lot of eyeshadow problems. Lip color, it's just, it's all about trial and error. And it's funny, right now I'm actually doing day side, obviously, technically night side, but I'm going in during the day. So I really don't have to focus on my under eye bags because I did get a good night's sleep. But I woke up at like 6 a.m. because I'm normally used to waking up very early. I normally wake up at 2 almost forgot that for a second. All right, so once that step is done and blended, I then go for the gold with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Medium. Game changer, game changer. I have actually never used, I guess, a full coverage under eye concealer. I, I've just, all I can say is that this, this fly, I wanna kill it. I, it's getting personal now. Ah! Anyway, this stuff, now I know what full coverage under eye concealer is. It just covers up, because I have problems. I don't get like bags really under my, I mean like I, maybe I can if I like really am sleep deprived, but usually on a normal daily basis, I don't get bags under my eyes, but they get discolored. Like they're like blue. Like it looks like someone kind of punched me, <laughs> punched me in the face. This covers that like a charm. And I like to start by blending it with my fingers, a ring finger, you know? I learned that from all the all the beauty gurus, um, because it's like your, that's the dumbest thing ever. It's like your least strong filling finger and you want to be gentle on it. Okay. Okay. And then I go in with a beauty blender to really blend it. And honestly, I feel like everyone, 
the fly just flew into my space. It is no consideration. I feel like everyone has a slightly different way of doing things. I remember I had a friend who did um, eye makeup before foundation. For me, I just can't do that because to me, like the big thing is like the foundation. That's my big transformation. Oh my god! I want to kill it. I want it to die a painful death also, so. If you want to live, why are you flying next to me? Now that that's all good and well, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder. This stuff, it just, oh, uh, that's the problem though. This stuff makes everything look so natural, which is like just what I love. And then I have that dilemma though, because on camera, it's not about being natural because things are different. So for this step, for all that is wonderful and why I love this step so much because everything's natural, I kind of ruin it by going in with a heavier powder after. Uh, so that kind of sucks, but oh, guys, like this stuff it just makes everything like so natural. It doesn't give you any more coverage though, so if you're looking for like full coverage, that's not going to get you anywhere, but that's honestly for me, that's what my foundation does, and then this just naturalizes it then okay right now because i'm not going on air just yet i'm not going on air till six o'clock i'm saving this step for later normally in the morning i just do it right away because i literally like go on air right away but i this is the mac mineralized mineralized skin finish and pretty much it's a medium plus i just lightly will apply it actually i can apply it though under my eyes just to set that a little bit more i like to do but other than that, I'll apply it like to my chin and like all these areas. I'm gonna do that later just because I really don't feel like coming in right now looking like a caked up fool. Now it's primer time, the Urban Decay, you know, primer potion. I, I can't believe I almost just went to like read that. Obviously everyone knows what this stuff is. Just put a little bit there, a little bit there. All right, so I, I kind of rotate, that was a weird sound. Oh shoot, all my stuff is in my bag. It's in my bag, we gotta go. So I'll switch up my eyeshadow a bit, I have found a, cu a few combinations that I feel work well. Kind of just, as we speak right now, I don't even know what I'm gonna be doing exactly. Yeah, all right, okay. I know what I'm gonna be doing now. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to go for my matte look today. All right, my fully matte look. All right, so we're actually gonna be working just in the Naked Basics palette. Sometimes I do a combination. Naked Basics, Urban Decay, one of the best palettes that's ever entered my life. It looks so boring, right? But it just, it's, it gives you what you need. Okay. <laughs> Start by taking that faint color. I didn't even show you that. It's called faint, that brown color, dark brown. This is just my go-to crease look no matter what. Doesn't matter which palette I end up using. I will always use this as my crease. It just works so well because not only is it just the perfect color, but the blendability, oh my gosh. Because there's nothing worse than putting a color in your crease that doesn't blend. It's just going to look so bad. And it's just a nightmare. So we don't want nightmares. We want dreams. And we are dreaming. Oh, see, I'm dreaming. Like, this is, oh. You know what, actually? We're not just going to go for the plain matte today. We're going to do a little bit of color. So now I'm going to go to this palette called Boxy Charm. It's called Z Palette or something like that. Honestly, I don't know, but I'm taking this shade right here. I like to do, a, like, a really bright, it's almost like a vanilla type color. Um, just, like, I like some sort of brightness. And I can even go over that with more matte, but I just do like to have a base of brightness. We're going to do that. Oh my gosh, yes. Do you see how bright that is? It just brightens up your world, honestly. All right, but now it's like super bright, so I'm going to go back in with that faint color, take an angled brush, go in um, not just at the crease, but also to the outer corner and kind of blend it more toward the middle just to darken this up a lot. Not a lot, but you know. Blend, blend, blend. Perfect. Now I do winged liner, aka bye bye because I can't do this on camera. It's hard. All right, I am back. We survived. Then I will take this little brush, go in with some black eyeshadow on my lash line, my lower lash line. This makes a huge difference. And don't do it on the waterline because you'll end up looking really like you have small eyes. All right, sorry, a lot of these things require heavy concentration, so I can't speak. <laughs> then I'm going to curl the lashes and go in with my Clinique Mascara. This stuff is my ride or die. It is the Clinique High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara. It really, I just love those big, full lashes. Never clumpy, though. Eh, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I might get a little bit clumpy. <laughs> but no, uh, no, no, no. But I'm actually kidding. Like, I really, like, I'm not. I really work hard to get all the clumps out. But I do a lot of coats because 
lashes make a huge difference on air. A lot of girls do fake lashes. I don't have time for fake lashes, especially in the morning or patience or any of that. So I just do my, a lot of mascara. And out of the entire makeup routine, mascara has to be the biggest game changer. Like, cause if there's one product you ask, like if every single makeup product in the world was getting deleted or erased, the only one I would want is mascara. Okay. Now if it does get clumpy, I go in with a mascara wand that is clean to get the clumps out. Okay. Next, all right, I guess I am gonna do a little bit of the powder before I do bronzer. Now for bronzer, first I'm gonna start out with my nose. Basically, this is just a trick. You put a line here. I just messed that up completely. Basically, it makes your um, nose look thinner if you don't mess up like I did. In case you couldn't tell, I'm starting to rush because I just realized I'm kind of running late. Really, I'm running late for being early, but still, it's late. Bronzer, Hoola, Benefit, mm. Blush, Bella Bamba, let's go for the gold. I've been using this for so long. Ah, oh, that's the one thing I struggle with over applying. Like they say, you gotta really apply blush and it's true, but I hate it because it just makes you look dumb in real life. Like that's the number one thing I'll notice about a person if they have too much on, it's blush. I'm like, ooh. All right, I'm gonna go do my hair and then I'll be right back to do my lips. And voila. Everything is done. I need to actually run out the door right now to go to work. So I will talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. We can catch up another time about other things that I feel like I wanted to discuss but didn't get to. I need to go. Peace out. Protests. Let's do it. <laughs>